So the context here is uh, throughout the fight, just came out with this new damage system, and um, yeah, I've been messing around with it. And my buddy fought this one kid, uh, this kid I'm fighting against, he's 16 years old, and uh, he knocked my buddy out. <laughs> so um, I actually taught my buddy how to do Muay Thai. Um, did Muay Thai on and off for about 10 years. I would say like real dedicated training, at least I have somewhere between three to five years under my belt. Uh, I might look pretty sloppy because uh, your boy's kind of washed up, haven't, haven't really trained, like really trained for quite a while. Um, but yeah, still kind of believing my, I guess, Muay Thai ability. But at the same time, um, I've been playing throughout the fight since it came out and it's been out for about four or five days. So kind of understand the game a little bit better too. So I'm like, you know what? Why don't I take a crack at it? So here we go. Uh, Muay Thai versus... Uh, boxer so this kid he's boxing um and the things that uh, supposedly he's been training for quite a while uh, although doesn't have any fight under his belt just like me i'm an amateur fighter never trained sparred a lot just never really fought before um yeah got into the ring with him so round one uh as you can see here i'm about like a head taller than him so uh in real life i would think i would try to stay in the middle and kind of jab him out Whenever he comes in, I will throw a jab. But the problem with uh, throw the fight is that I can't do that, right? So they're not really that scared about getting punched as they, they come in. So can't really stay in the pocket. And one of the things that I learned from my buddy is that uh, this kid punches really hard. He knocked my buddy out. <laughs> well, knocked my buddy down, right? So I'm thinking, okay, I haven't knocked down anybody yet. So wouldn't want to stay in the pocket with them. So doing a lot of circling and pivoting. Um, and then I'm also going like super low, right? I'm doing like this really low squat. I don't know if this is realistic in real life because never boxed before. Wouldn't go this low if I'm doing Muay Thai because uh, I'm going to get a knee to the face, right? So first round goes there. Uh, I think I out damaged him in the first round. I did a lot of jab and I did a lot of uh, like wide hooks because he would put his hand up and I would, I would do wide hooks. Uh, round two starts and this is where he he really turned out the heat. Like I, I, at some point, I'm just like, holy shit. As you can see, I'm like running really hard right now. I'm trying to get out of the way. And man, he got some good form. He's he's kind of, you know, he's pivoting right, pivoting left, and just cu cutting the angle coming in and getting into the pocket. So I'm thinking, okay, boy's gonna get tired at some point. Uh, but this round, my goal is really kind of just hold him off and not get destroyed, right? Uh, strategizing, first round, I'm gonna go kind of hard. Third round, I'm gonna go to get a hard, kind of hard. And my strategy here is just, I wanna win two out of the three rounds. So start punching him up in the face. I see him, you know, he, he's, he is keeping his, his hand up. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, he's just kind of chasing me down, which is which is great. Like, uh, he's, I think he's doing a great job. Definitely, you can see his conditioning. This is definitely Woo! someone that's training. And oh my gosh, like I got hit right there. You can hear me, I was like, <laughs> got rocked. That was the first time that I got rocked through uh, after the damage update. So that was the first time I was like, whoa, he rocked me, uh, which is great. So now I think he kind of slowed down a little bit here just cause nope, he is, boys keeping at it. So he's a little slow down. Yeah, he's definitely a little slow down. He's keeping his hands high. So my first thought is like, maybe I can get through his, you know, uh, gloves. Didn't really get through. So I went low, right? So I went low, he sees that this now. So I went low, so now, now I'm thinking of going high. Uh, and then just kind of go low, high, low, high. I think so, at some point starts throwing like wide, wider hooks as he's, uh, ooh, yeah, good, great combo, great combo for the kid. He's just, yeah, he's tagging me. He's definitely tagging me. And matter of fact, uh, the way I play is like I kind of dance around a lot. So as you can see in the video, um, yeah, usually I don't get hit all that much. And this round, he definitely took me to town. Uh, he still rocked me one time. This is the first time I got rocked in the new damage update and uh, yeah, did a bunch of damage on me. Third round starts and I'm thinking about what worked and what didn't. Uh, what didn't is those nasty uh, looking, I wouldn't even say nasty, but just bad looking overhand right hand hooks. Uh, and what worked was uh, jab and also wider hooks. So the hook is almost like a slap hook uh, just because when people keep their hands up, you want to kind of, you know, go from the side of their uh, their guard. But yeah, but uh, Kid came out swinging. And the funny thing is I call this guy Kid not because I, not out of disrespect at all. It's just the fact that he is really young, you know? 
uh, bro is only 16 years old and you hear him fighting a grown ass man, right? So he's doing really well. And and one of the things is like in real life, it chances he's gonna win. Uh, bro is a lot more better at conditioning. And there's no way, like the way that, you know, blocking the system is kind of goofy. Uh, I wouldn't say goofy, just gamified, right? So it's it's gonna be super hard for me to block those punches just by sticking my arm out. <laughs> and when, when bro's hit, throwing his punches at full power. So definitely got some really good combos. And you know, as you can see, he, he definitely tagged me quite a bit too. Um, but I believe this round I just just out damage him um, with a lot of the with a lot of the overreach hook, uh, overreach jabs and also overreach hook hooks. As you can see here, every time you know I would jab him to the face, switch an angle, jab him to the face, switch an angle, or jab him to the stomach, switch an angle. Um, so the fact that I did this maybe like 10, 20 times, you really add up. And that was a really good slip that he did there, just literally right over there. Um, yeah, so you know this it's very interesting. Like, the third round, I definitely felt it was a lot closer than how the round turned out. Uh, I'm actually pretty shocked by the final score, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So I, I definitely find that this game, uh, or at least I really like the new damage system because uh, yeah, finally everybody can can you know do damage. Uh, one of the problem with the old damage system is you have to hit the punch in the right angle, in the right motion in order to do damage. And unfortunately, you know, those right angle and right motion is not how you would throw a punch in real life. Anyhow, yeah, we finished the round. Oh, uh, we finished the round three and the final score is 29 to 28. Came really close. He won one round, I won the other two. Uh, but the score though, I did seem to come out ahead quite a bit uh, just cause of those, you know, jab touches and also those uh, wider hook touches. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to sub and like. And uh, let me know what you think of Throw the Fight 2 so far. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Be sure to leave a comment down below.